Welcome to One Mind Zen. Tonight's Dharma talk is given by Myung Jin and San. The world is full of project managers and clients. If you've ever had the occasion to be a project manager, you understand that that is the anglicization of the original uh, Sanskrit for bearer of bad news. Uh, construction won't be done on time. Oh, the equipment won't come in. Some guy in the Suez Canal tried to make a K turn and he didn't fit and I don't know what he was thinking, but we're going to be late. And so on and so forth. Anything that can come up, a project manager is going to be the guy that needs to tell someone else the bad news. And we're all either clients or project managers at different times throughout the same day, no doubt. So on the one hand, the project manager is the bearer of bad news, but then on those occasions where things work out like they're supposed to, the general response you get is, what do you want, a gold star? That's how it's supposed to be. So I think in general, humans have this tendency to uh, notice the negative more than the positive. And I think that's probably why the Buddha decided that his first teachings would be stay balanced, don't go off the road on this side or don't go off the road on that side, just, just stay cool, stay in the middle of the road, it's all good. And the other ones were, yeah, life is sort of uncomfortable sometimes. And you're going to notice it more than you notice when it's good. But that's just how we are. Suffering is something that comes very natural to us for whatever reason. And everybody probably figures that this is the worst time in history ever nothing worse black death <laughs> piece of cake compared to what we're dealing with now floods wildfires everything else pandemics Ah, the world is ending. Again, noticing the bad stuff rather than whatever good stuff there might be. And um, it's just something that we have to deal with. We still at heart want to notice bad stuff. That's not to say that there isn't some bad stuff that happens. Uh, there's things going on, not only in this age, but in every age, that are just not right. Fortunately, we've got a practice that's supposed to help us get through all of the not right. And I suppose the not going off into the ditch on this side of the road or the other is acceptance. Yes, these are how things are. It makes us suffer, 
even if it's only temporarily, it feels like the end of the world and that it'll never stop. But while you're going through it, it sure as hell feels like it's never going to stop. So, Sung San talked about the primary point, and that's that's when you, you know, your your pendulum swings back and forth and back and forth, and then it gets a little toward the center, and then it stops, and that's the primary point. That's zero, right? The ways that we accept things, not saying that we justify them or that we think they're good or that we like them even, but just to acknowledge that these things are happening is through the practice of uh, Kshanti Paramita. Kshanti is usually translated as patience, toleration, enduring hardships and difficulties. And note that it says Shanti Paramita, and Paramita is the perfection of. And Kashanti doesn't mean that you just are patient and that you're perfectly patient. Perfection in this case is an ongoing process. We're perfecting rather than being perfect. It's like when you polish something, you're, you're in the process of making it perfect. It's not now, it may never be, but you're going through perfection. So there's a lot of things going on these days that it's really tough to be patient with and I'm not just talking about the person in the grocery line who's decided to take the $100 grocery bill out of the wallet one penny at a time and then lose its count and has to start all over again. Not that sort of patience. Not that sort of toleration. Not that sort of acceptance of reality as it is. There are undoubtedly some bad things going on these days. Some things that we wish weren't going on. Being patient doesn't mean that we're passive about it, though. Our acceptance isn't just uh, laziness. It's like, ah, there's a war. Yeah. It's not disengaged acceptance. Our patience has an active part to it. Another one of the paramitas is uh, virya. And that's often translated as perseverance, energy. Uh, it's the root word for virility, virya. So it's energized. It's active. It's engaged. So between the two, we accept, and our action is that we don't settle. Now here's where it gets interesting. 
in December and just a couple of days ago, there were a couple of people who set themselves on fire outside of the Israeli consulate and the more recent one was in front of the Israeli embassy protesting what's going on in uh, the Gaza. And there are also, of course, another number of uh, conflict zones in the world today, but uh, nobody setting themselves on fire uh, over them. Now, there are those, and I'm not going to quibble with them one way or the other, there are those, however, who consider suicide wrong. Just plain old, no gray area, just wrong. It's an act of violence, taking life, even if it's your own. However, the gray area is, in these cases, uh, we probably remember the photograph of the Vietnamese monk in Saigon, now known as Ho Chi Minh City, setting himself on fire in the middle of a busy road, um, which was, by the way, not to protest the Vietnam War, but to protest the Vietnamese regime's treatment of Buddhists and Buddhism. And there have been any number of Tibetans who have uh, self-immolated over the past few years over the treatment of uh, Tibetans and the attitude of uh, or toward Tibet uh, from the PRC. And there are those who would say just flat out, nope, wrong, bad. But there have been times when maybe not so black and white. You know, I think about the uh, the ten who died on hunger strike in uh, Long Kesh prison in 1981. I think about the the guys uh, self-immolating in front of the uh, Israeli consulate and embassy. Uh, I think about the the monk. I think about the Tibetans. And what if they were doing this not out of a sense of despair, not out of a sense of wanting to commit some sort of violent act toward themselves, but what if they did these things to call attention and in a really big way and that's how they're saving all beings. If the motivation is not I, 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 me, 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 but putting it out there for the whole world basically. Hey, notice this. This is not right. Here, I'll do something that you'll, you'll notice and maybe think about. So, the rest of us that aren't on hunger strike or setting ourselves on fire or any of that. How do we practice this 
patience, tolerance, forbearance, and energy. What are we actually doing about any of these things that we accept are happening, can't deny it, can't come up with some, you know, oh, there's, uh, you know, war is empty excuse. So what are we doing? What is, what is our viria? Do we think that ranting on Facebook is going to be good enough? Like, yeah, I'm going to preach to the converted and that's going to, oh, wait, they already think this, so never mind. But I'll change the minds of those, oh, they'll never see it. What are we doing with our energy and our forbearance? How are we staying not in this ditch or not in that ditch, but staying in the middle of the road, but as in the middle path? How as bodhisattvas do we do that? How are we going to actually confront something that we think is wrong, unwholesome, bad, whatever, and create an environment where that is going to cease at some point or another? someone will hopefully see sense about these things. And I don't think that very many of us are going to set themselves on fire. And I don't think that is necessarily the best way that most of us can go about this, even if we're doing it for the sake of all beings. But what are we doing? How are we practicing this virya? Where is our energy going? Are we practicing as if our, so to speak, bad illusion, but hair is on fire? And extend that strength and practice in all matters of our lives? Who have you helped today?